You're probably getting into Dying Light 2 a little bit now and thinking about upgrading some of your stuff. You've found the Craftmaster and what to upgrade. Well, there is definitely some things to concentrate on more than others, but also you're going to be running out of the zombie trophies pretty soon as well. You probably built up quite a big collection before you started upgrading or getting some of these that you're thinking about your favourite, but absolutely reinforcement for me is the number one thing to keep your weapons more durable and then you can carry on upgrading the mods on them and that keeps them just about in line in terms of power so even early weapons that you find can still hold their own later in the game and they're definitely worth it if you're someone that really likes using the similar sort of weapons otherwise absolutely just go for stuff that's going to give you more easy ways of doing stuff things like lot picking I would also probably go for health as something that I would upgrade and try and get that so it gives you more easy and then it's always preference whether or not you're going to go for boosters or whether or not you're going to go for more offensive stuff like Molotov cocktails or grenades. And don't worry, if you've seen some of this stuff you haven't got there just yet, you'll find a bunch of these at later Craftmasters, especially when you get to the loop. But how do you get a bunch load of the trophies? Well, here's the basics. It tells you exactly what zombies drop which trophies. So we're going to show you guys some of them locations to find some of the more rarer zombies. But there is a bit of a cheesy method, especially to get a lot of the uncommon ones. And as a side note, you'd also earn some gold and valuables to go and sell at traders too. Whatever settlement you're close to, start up a chase and run back to it. Preferably with one, obviously, that's got some sort of UV light in front of the door. Now, I prefer to do this when you get to the loop, because by then, you probably have already managed to upgrade a few things, you got used to stuff, and that's when you want to think about what you're going to really put your tokens into or your trophies into. So go around, run around a little bit, try and get up to the chase level two if you really want, but it's not necessarily that much bigger or difference. You don't get any different types of zombies come chase you. It's more or less just the same ones at this point. And simply just run back to the UV spot and you can pretty much stay there and take them out in safety. If you get a bit too low on health because one's managed to catch you, you can heal up quickly and then get back into the fight. Now you can't stay in the UV light forever because that will end the chase, obviously. And that's when you get more of the uncommon ones that will spawn. But yeah, you can do this in the very first stages in Villador, but I would still say wait to here because you do get more zombies come when you start getting to the later stages of the game. And in the first part, it does feel like it is kind of holding back a lot of them. Just keep rinsing and repeating, keep going out, dragging them over too close to the UV, taking them on yourself or fighting them from directly in the UV. Once you've had enough, you then simply go ahead and start looting all the dead bodies and you'll get a whole bunch of the trophies that you want or need. This method, like I said, does give you mostly uncommon, but you have got a good chance of getting some of the rare ones as well. But you probably won't get any of the unique trophies doing this method. So, uncommon trophies. You'll get them from virals, howlers and spitters. Some of the most common that you find in the streets all throughout the game. The virals are a little bit different from just the regular biters. You normally find these in dark areas patrolling around. Take care of them and you'll get some uncommon trophies. And you'll need a ton of these to upgrade at least level 1, 2 and 3. And they just get more and more expensive as you go through. And then next up we've got the goons. These guys are going to give you more chance of getting the more rare ones. Alongside the bolters and banshees. Quickest way to find some more of these guys is going over to the military blockade sometimes. Where you usually find a tank and you can obviously go and get the extra loot. And this is where the cheese method kind of falls apart. Yes you get lots of uncommon ones. But you don't gain much XP for basic fighting. Normally you're standing there not gaining any XP in parkour. So this, although I'm using a bow right here, I could be jumping, running around, gaining some XP and using my moves a little bit more freely. You also get the added bonus of looting all of these areas. So the ambulance truck, the tank itself, as well as the army truck. It's also worth noting that you do also stand a chance of getting unique ones, even from the goons and some of the other zombies as well. It's just not as common. So don't try and pass up an opportunity to go and take out one of the goons or indeed the bolters. This is some of your best chance for getting some of the rare or the more unique ones. The banshees you don't see much of actually. In the early stages you get attacked by one in the tutorial but after that I didn't see one for about, I don't know, 18 hours I swear. I did kind of stop going through some of the GRE places and stuff but yeah they're not as common as the bolters or the goons. Then the third set of trophies, of course, is from Volatiles and some of the more new ones, like the Basher. Now, these guys obviously are more of a challenge, so you're not going to be running around finding these all the time. But again, they're in these GRE anomaly zones, so they're guaranteed to get one if you take one down here. 
Likewise, Chargers, much like the Banshees, I don't run into them that often. Like, maybe it's more about the chase level, and I've never really got beyond chase level two. But apart from a few key moments in the story, I didn't come across any so far. And you definitely come across more demolishers, especially when you start going into the GRE sort of medical facilities. There's usually one in there, and you come across a good few in the story. So you should find at least a few of them as you progress. So, I hope that's been helpful. A little bit of a cheesy method to get you started. Don't over-rely on it though, because like I said, you do want to try finding some of their more advanced Zeds. And I think hopefully it will set you on the right path to getting the right upgrades. If you disagree with me about what you should upgrade first, let me know in the comment section. And if you've got any top tips about getting lots of the trophies, then also let me know in the comment section. Check out the rest of my guides, and I'll see you rat bags later.